There is a popular joke that Nigeria will probably be the only country left on Earth if the world moves to space. This is obviously about the country's apparent slow pace of adapting to new technologies. In an attempt to change that perception, the government has announced plans to join the League of Countries in space exploration. This could mean that we may soon be sending a man or a woman into the moon to plant the Nigerian flag. This was disclosed by the Minister of Science, Technology and Innovation, Obunaya Ono, in Ebony State during the week. Though Nigeria may not be at the forefront of space technology, we're not exactly in the dark ages either. We may not have a space station per se, but we have a space program. It is called the National Space Research and Development Agency, NASDA, which is part of the Federal Ministry of Science and Technology. NASDA is not a new program. It was established on the 1st of August 2001 after its commencement was announced by President Olusegun Obasanjo in 1998 with an initial budget of $93 million. So far, not less than five satellites have been launched by the Nigerian government into outer space. Nigeria Sat 1 was the first Nigerian satellite and built by a United Kingdom based satellite technology company for $30 million. The primary objectives of the Nigeria Sat 1 were to give early warning signs of environmental disaster, to help detect and control desertification in the northern part of Nigeria, to assist in demographic planning, to establish the relationship between vectors and the environment that breed malaria, to give early warning signs on future outbreak of meningitis using remote sensing technology, to provide the technology needed to bring education to all parts of the country through distant learning and to aid in conflict resolution and border disputes by mapping out state and international borders. So, did it work? Your guess is as good as mine. Since then, Nigeria Sat 2, Nigeria Sat X, and Nigeria Sat 2 X spacecraft were built at a cost of over $35 million. There has also been the Nigeria Comsat 1, which is Nigeria's first communication satellite launched in 2007, and then there is the Nigeria Comsat 1R. As Nigeria struggles to develop its space program, note that the United States has celebrated its 50th anniversary of the U.S. moon landing. Not that we're competing, but this signals to the administration that if they want to catch up in space technology, more work than rhetoric has to be done. Roots TV, Nigeria.